The real challenge with AI is that it's really unprecedented and really extreme, and it's going to be very different in the future compared to the way it is today. Like, you know, we've all seen AI, we've all spoken to a computer, and a computer has spoken back to us, which is a new thing. Computers would not do this in the past, but now they do. So you speak to a computer, and it understands you, and it speaks back to you, and it also does it in voice, and it writes some code. It's, it's pretty crazy. But there are so many things it cannot do as well, and it's so deficient. So you can say it still needs to catch up on a lot of things. But it's evocative. It's good enough that you can ask yourself, you could imagine, OK, fine. In some number of years, some people say it's in three, some people say it's in five, 10. Numbers are being thrown around. It's a bit hard to predict the future. But slowly but surely, or maybe not so slowly, AI will keep getting better. And the day will come when AI will do all of our, all the things that we can do. Not just some of them, but all of them. Anything which I can learn, anything which any, any one of you can learn, the AI could do as well. How do we know this, by the way? How can I be so sure? How can I be so sure of that? The reason is that all of us have a brain, and the brain is a biological computer. That's why. We have a brain, the brain is a biological computer. So why can't a digital computer, a digital brain, do the same things? This is the one sentence summary for why AI will be able to do all those things.